So hi guys, uh, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about uh, myocardial infarction. So myocardial infarction is basically another term that is used to describe a heart attack. So basically a heart attack is uh, a deadly medical emergency where your heart muscles begin to die because there isn't enough blood flow. So this is as a result of a blockage in the arteries that supply blood to the heart, usually the myocardial part of the heart which is the heart muscles. So this is caused by a complete or partial occlusion of coronary artery and uh, requires prompt hospitalization and extensive care management. So clinically, how is the patient going to present? This can happen at home. Anybody can get a heart attack anywhere. These are first some of the things that you have to check uh, to be able to determine if a patient is having a myocardial infarction. <clears throat> so first of all, the patient is going to present with chest pain, which is severe. That is a retrospinal epigastric crash or burn or discomfort. So this, the discomfort radiates uh, to the neck and down to the inner part of the left arm, lasting at least 20 minutes to 7 hours. This occurs uh, also during rest and is associated with the pallor, sweating, arrhythmias, pulmonary edema, and hypotension. Uh, this may also occur when one is undergoing any physical activity, can be going up a hill or doing the normal chores. So how are we supposed to manage such a patient? In an emergency setup, in a hospital setup, we have to do support uh, and maintenance of vital functions. So you have to do a, give a, a cardiopulmonary resuscitation for a patient who's already collapsed. You also have to administer 100% of oxygen to this patient so we also have to alleviate the pain that is radiating uh, to the neck and the inner part of the left arm by giving uh, morphine, 10 to 15 milligrams, IM or IV. So one milligram per minute maximum. So 10 milligrams of uh, morphine must be diluted in normal saline or water for injection. Or you can also give pethidine 50 to 100 milligrams IV or IM. So you remember when a patient is having uh, severe pain, this is going to affect also the anxiety and morphine helps in calming the patient down. So you also have to reduce further damage to the heart muscles by administering aspirin, uh, 150 milligrams per oral start. Also, you're supposed to give uh, glycerin trinitrate uh, sublingually, 0 0.5 milligrams every 5 to 10 minutes to a maximum dose of uh, 5 tablets. So this helps the, to protect the cardiac uh, myocardial muscles. So what are you supposed to do when uh, this patient arrives in the hospital setup or it happens that the patient is already in a, in a hospital setup? If the patient passes out and they're having ventricular fibrillations, you are supposed to give a defibrillation by using a defibrillator. That is basically generating a shock into the patient so that you can be able to charge the myocardium to continue functioning. So you also have to recanalization therapy uh, through thrombolysis and uh, primary, primary angioplasty. You're also supposed to consider any further investigations such as an electrocardiograph, serum cardiac markers, that is troponin I and T. You're also supposed to do creatinine kinase, um, myoglobin and other non-specific markers. You also have supposed to do an echocardiograph to see the actual image of the heart. If the muscles are pumping well, you can be able to consider that. You also have to do nuclear imaging. So point to note is when this case happens when, uh, in, a host, in a home setup or away from a, from a hospital setup, in our normal activities, it might be at work, it might be at home. The first thing, if you notice this, uh, you're supposed to start uh, CPR. Um, and when you're giving a CPR, you're also supposed to administer 100% of oxygen to the patient so that we can be able to assist the patient before they can be able to get any further assistance. Thank you. I hope you can be able to manage uh, myocardial infarction at this point. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.